mountain waves cause a specific type of turbulence and wind shear. The relief modifies the airflow from the ground up to the tropopause in two different ways. In the first case, at low altitudes, the airflow is disturbed by the high ground, creating turbulence and rotors downwind. In the second case, at higher altitude, the airflow oscillates at a long wavelength, which pilots know as mountain waves. The presence of these mountain waves may be indicated by lenticularis clouds if humidity is high enough. However, the turbulence is strongest at the tropopause or close to the ground. In cruise, this can lead to significant vertical movements of the atmosphere downwind of mountain area hundreds of nautical miles. These zones are well known to pilots and include the Rockies, the Andes, the Himalaya, or any high ground where the average wind is approximately 90 degrees of the relief. Well, Japan Airlines operate regularly over the Rocky Mountains. In this area, difficulties in maintaining flight altitude have been frequently reported, and there have been some cases of injuries to cabin attendants due to the turbulence. These mountain waves encounter have been also been highlighted through the flight data monitoring. While mountain waves are unpredictable, it is difficult to anticipate the time of occurrence and the altitude and also pirate may lack timeliness. In addition, due to our flight schedule, mountain waves over the Rockies often occur at a time with the middle service in the cabin, causing sudden turbulence and sometimes injury to the cabin attendants. In order to better specify the turbulence range and area, past turbulence cases and flight data have been analyzed. This showed that the section between 110 West and 102 West near the Rocky Mountain was the most subject to mountain waves. Therefore, we decided to define it as the mountain wave warning zone. And we took the following measure when we fly into this area. At pre-flight briefing, we we'll tell the cabin attendants the expected time at which we would fly in the mountain wave warning zone. And during the flight, we use all call to inform cabin attendants that we enter and exit the turbulence zone. We also send information of the turbulence that occur in the mountain wave warning zone with the PIREP by ACARS. Even if there's no turbulence, we elect to send the weather condition at the entry point and the leaving point of the zone. In any case, in addition to regular PIREP, we send wind direction, wind speed, and outside temperature in text to accumulate the data. Thanks to the weather information obtained from the flight crews, we will be able to improve prediction accuracy of the mountain waves in the future and use them to refine our flight routes. The weather charts and knowledge of local conditions at an airport can help identify situations where turbulence may occur near high ground. The areas of turbulence and the mountain wave symbols are easily identified in the significant weather chart. In the segment, the mention of severe mountain wave could be indicated. Occasionally, in the meter, wind shear may be indicated. When the airflow interacts with topography, turbulence can occur at a tropopause or close to ground with or without lenticular clouds.